Okay, this video is for Jolly Julong, whose question is, uh, they're getting into football, right? You're getting into football, you don't know where to play, and you don't know where to even start, to how to even start thinking about training or uh, some smart training and that's gonna help you out. Okay, so there are two things. Matter of fact, there's one thing that will effortlessly help you get better at soccer. You could bring it anywhere you go. This is a skills, S-K-L-Z, skills kick trainer. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. Or you could make it yourself, right? It's just a ball. You get some rope, a size one or a size two ball, and you make a knot on the top. It's just a ball and a rope. But with this tool, it doesn't matter if you're inside or outside. It doesn't matter where you are. You're just gonna be able to get a lot of touches. And when you're getting these touches, it's gonna help you be relaxed, right? So you're getting good touches, you're relaxed. And I want you to start noticing things around you and just seeing, right? I want you to start uh, getting into the rhythm of, of getting lots of touches, nice and easy. You're breathing and then you're looking all around. You're seeing, I'm, I'm seeing trees, right? You're seeing rocks, you're seeing, I see people. Right, I want the, the reason why you do this is because this practice right here, this relaxed practice, is going to help you um, get on the field and be comfortable uh, with with looking around, seeing the space, seeing the defenders, seeing your teammates, um, and and if you can be relaxed while you're training, then that'll translate to being relaxed on the field. Right, so this you could you could squeeze right, you could fit months of training you can cram months of training into days or weeks with a simple ball and a rope and you know you don't need to do it barefoot um i just like doing a barefoot but literally it's a great tool right M muhammad ali he trained six days a week all day and i'm not saying you want to be the best boxer or the best soccer player in the world but it kind of speaks to um you know you could you could see some rapid improvement just by starting one minute a day, two minutes a day, um, just start a practice. And since the barrier of entry for this ball is cheap, right, 20 bucks, and it's hard, it's hard to fail with it because you're just, right, it, it's not like you're, it's not like juggling or kicking a ball against the wall. There are some barriers there, right? With a wall, you have to literally go, go to where the wall is. And with juggling, when you drop the ball, sometimes that gets frustrating. With this, all you're doing is getting nice, rhythmic, relaxed touches. You're working both your feet. This is working balance. This is working timing. This is working rhythm, right? Nice and easy. So um, this would be my number one suggestion. You bring this everywhere you go, and I promise you, you're gonna see some benefit on the field. Um, you're striking, you're passing, you're shooting. All that is gonna get improved with this ball and a rope, and especially use both touches, breathing always in and out, in through the nose out through the mouth so that's number one that's if I could go back in time or if I was in your shoes right now I'd stop this video and I'd order this immediately right 20 bucks on Amazon you can't beat it so that's that's step one step two um, step two is this juggling sequence I've nicknamed uh, I've called it a couple things I've called it the Rosetta Stone of dribbling you could call it the foundation of dribbling what it is, it's a simple dribbling sequence that once you master, it's gonna help you uh, get your head up. It's gonna, it's gonna, you're soon gonna turn the sequence into uh, muscle memory, and that's gonna allow you to make better passes, make better decisions, um, keep the ball with your team, and have more fun playing soccer. Right? It's gonna make you. It's gonna help you not suck. Right? If you're just getting into soccer, you just don't want to be the worst on the field. Right? Um, and this is going to help with that because um, it's smart. It's smart training in the sense that it's one thing that you can do that's really going to that's really going to help you improve. All right? Let me show you the sequence. It goes it goes outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Right, so when you're when you start this, you want to do it slow. You want to do it slow. You want to say it out loud when you're doing it. Most people I, I teach this to, they try to go too fast, 
right? They don't say it out loud. Go nice and slow, say it out loud when you're doing it, right? Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Then what's gonna happen is you can start to combine this sequence with other moves that you can begin to learn. So you could go outside, outside, inside, outside, scissor. Outside, outside, inside, outside, L move. Outside, outside, inside, outside, chop. Right, so it's a foundation for all those other moves and they'll start to, it, it helps connect everything together. So if you practice just for a few minutes every day, skills kick trainer, or even, even with the ball in the house, um, just those two things alone, your game will improve tremendously. Right now, I think I made another video to, to, for you about uh, just kicking the ball against the wall, starting a juggling practice. Those three things, those, that's the core, should be the core of your training. Just a few minutes a day on each of those. Five minutes with the kick trainer, five minutes with the dribbling sequence, and five minutes with, with, a, with the juggling, doing some juggling. You, uh, over a couple weeks, you're gonna see yourself uh, improve dramatically. So uh, give those things a try. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your time. All right.